Hello! Today I have something a little bit different to show you. So here we are in some random world. And down here we have a little settlement. Now if you asked me, this place looks fairly safe. It looks pretty well lit. But the question is, just how safe is it? So, what I have for you today is a very handy little tool that will show you exactly where monsters can and cannot spawn. And it is in the form of a resource pack. So we're going to go into options, we're going to go into resource packs, and we're going to use the danger zone texture pack. I'm going to plot that on, and instantly you'll see the world changes. Now what the danger zone resource pack actually does is it completely changes Minecraft's light map. So as you can see we have three main colours here. We have red, blue, and a little bit of green. And each of these colours represents different zones. So the red zone is the danger zone. All monsters can spawn in the red zone. Now the blue zone and the green zone are actually very, very similar. So the blue zone is almost completely safe. It can, it will basically prevent almost all mobs from spawning within it. The green zone will prevent all mobs that rely on light levels from spawning within it. Now, the reason this is so very useful is basically it gives a very clear visual representation of where mobs can and cannot spawn. So in situations like when you're trying to create a mob farm where you have to light up very large areas, caves, this will make your life so much easier because instead of having to use F3 to see if mobs can spawn in the location, you can just see with your eyes that a mob can spawn in that location or not. Um, so it's a very, very handy tool. This also works in the end, and of course in the nether too. Now you may be wondering why I included the blue zone, because it's typically not going to be used that much. So there are actually two mobs that can spawn in the blue zone. We have silverfish and blaze. So in the overworld the blue zone is almost pointless because silverfish only spawn in very strict circumstances such as near a spawner or sometimes in blocks in caves. But in the nether, the blue zone is a little bit more useful because blazers spawn a little bit more regularly than silverfish do. So the blue zone can spawn blaze and silverfish. Um, the green zone, or the yellow zone here I suppose, uh, will not spawn any mobs that depend on light levels. Now, there are actually a few extra things that you need to know. So first off, this requires Optifine to work. By default, Minecraft doesn't actually look at light maps, so without Optifine this won't do anything basically. Secondly, this will only take into account artificial light such as torches, lamps, fire, etc. So as you can see it's actually daytime, but there's still a load of red on the screen and that is because it will not take into consideration sunlight levels. Finally, remember that there are many many different requirements for mob spawning. So we may be in the danger zone at the moment, and technically all of us can spawn here, but if we were to place a half slab here, that would technically be safe. It wouldn't spawn any mobs, but this won't actually show that because it will only show you um, safe zones and danger zones based on light levels. 